All right. Um, good morning, students. Um, today I just want to do a question. Um, part of algebraic expressions, and uh, what happens when we get a question like you know where you've got uh, a binomial and you've got uh, a, a term in front of the binomial like what we see here, and how to simplify. Now, how you'll identify uh, an algebraic expression is they will tell you simplify. Um, then you've got to do the algebraic expressions. Um, and then if I have time, I want to do an equation as well, just to explain a bit. But I want to do this question here and just simplify things, get things easy for you to understand. And uh, so I'm going to write this question down on my board. So minus 3 into x plus 2, minus 3 into x plus 2. And I've got plus 4x minus 3 plus 4x minus 3 um, plus 2 into 2x minus 1. Now, you know, th there are many ways that you could do this question, and it's one strategy that I found, you know, works well, is the SNA principle. Uh, the SNA principle is the sign number alphabet principle. So S for sign, um, N for number, and A is obviously for alphabet. And uh, so the sign number alphabet principle, this principle helps, um, you know, learners that, that struggle with algebraic expression, that struggle to deal with, you know, where you've got a binomial by binomial and um, a, a term in front of a binomial. And what do we do? I mean, they, they sound quite confusing. So I'm going to apply this. And I'm going to add one more SNA, a snap. <clears throat> and that would be add or subtract like terms. Add or subtract like terms. Um, so I'm going to do this very quickly, not to waste too much of time. And so I'm going to erase this now. And you know it's SNA. Uh, and so we're going to apply the SNA principle and complete this algebraic expression. We're going to simplify. You're going to see how quick we'll be. So watch this now. This is one thing you need to know. Whatever is in front of a bracket must visit and multiply what's inside of a bracket. Now, when you multiply two terms, they become one. Um, it's like a marriage. Uh, two become one. You know, when a man and a woman gets married, they become one. Whatever uh, they had before marriage, they bring it into the marriage and it, they share it and it becomes one. So for example, two times X becomes one to X. Can you see them together? They look quite good. So it's the same way with algebraic expressions, but you just got to apply uh, the integer rules with a positive times a negative, negative times a negative, whatever. So minus three times X, and now watch the sign, negative times, this is a positive, negative, three, so watch the sign, and then I, uh, I'm going to do number. Watch this. Now, what number is in front of X is 1. There's no number, so it's considered to be 1. 3 times 1 is 3, and then I'm going to do alphabet. Is there an alphabet there? No. It's going now. The 3 is times in the X, so the X will join. Or you could just say negative 3 times X is negative 3X. Remember I said it's like when they marry, they join. And then negative 3 now will visit positive 2. Wants to have some T, I guess. Negative 3 times positive 2. Negative times a positive. Negative 3 times 2. 6. Now, there's nothing being multiplied here. So you can bring them down as normal. And minus 3. And then I've got another situation here. Positive 2 wants to visit x minus 1. Same strategy. Again, and you apply it there. Positive times positive is positive. Or you could just say positive 2 times x. They join and it becomes positive 2x. And positive 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Into their rules, a positive times a negative. Negative 2 times 1 is 2. Now we come to the step where we add or subtract like terms. Now, what is a like term? A like term is a term, a like term, um, they have the same letter and power, same letter or variable 
and power. Now, numbers are considered like terms. So if I look at x, and there's another x, the power of this x is 1, this x is 1, this x is 1. Same letters, same powers, they are considered like terms. So we're going to do this together, and I'm going to identify wherever they are like terms, I'm going to put a purple square. So I'm going to take these ones off here. We know the power is 1 because there's, not, there's nothing on it. And if there's nothing on it, it's considered to be 1. And there are no other x's. And I can see numbers. Numbers are considered like terms. Why? Because you can add and subtract a number. So I'm going to put a green block there. And you'll find how easy it becomes to add and subtract like terms. We do quite a few videos just to help you. Now watch this x so i'm going to write x and on the side i'm going to calculate the value of every x now the x's are on in the purple block so the first one is negative three the second one is positive four and the third like term in the, in the variable x is positive two so if i want to sort this out um i would Team positive against team negative. Team positive I'll, is if I plus 4 plus 2, team positive is plus 6. Right? Plus 6 minus 3. Watch this. Integer rules, if there are two different signs or two, diff uh, uh, two numbers with two different signs, you subtract the numbers. So 6 minus 3 is 3. And use the sign of the bigger number. The bigger number is 6, so it's positive 3. All right, so you don't have to write positive 3 because it's going to be 3 and it's 3x. So the x's came to positive 3x. So I'm done with the x. And now I've got the numbers. I've got minus 6, which is the first one you can see there. I've got negative 3 and I've got negative 2. Now, all of them are negative. Integer rules, when all the signs are the same, simply add the numbers and use the sign that is given. So, 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. So, negative. In other words, I would say this. There's negative 6 people in this room. There's negative 3 people in this room. And there's 2 negative people. So, in total, what do we have in this population? 11 negative people. Minus or negative 11 and that's it we're done i hope you understood and uh, you know it was meaningful or pretty much more to uh, make you understand but i hope this was absolutely you know educational and informative for you thank you so much